one month after Elon Musk's Starship launched, then broke apart on liftoff. A rapid, unscheduled disassembly. Both SpaceX and NASA insist they're committed to the rocket, first to land astronauts on the moon, but ultimately to carry crews to Mars as soon as 2040. While science and exploration are the driving motivators, there's also a competitive factor, China. The Chinese government is very secretive and a lot of their plans uh, involve their military preparations. And so there's a reason for us to get there first. And NASA wants to get there faster. A round trip mission to Mars could take two to three years. So to cut the travel time, America is going back to the future. This project was called NERVA. To the 1960s and a government program most Americans have never heard of to develop nuclear powered rockets. Someday a manned trip to Mars and return may become the mission assignment. It turns out they made big progress back in the 60s, running expensive tests. The goal now, send astronauts to the moon and beyond on nuclear rockets. When the Apollo astronauts went to the moon, they needed five of these massive F-1 engines just to get them off the Earth and escape the Earth's gravitational pull. Seven and a half million pounds of thrust. Here at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, they've got an exact replica to scale of the Saturn V, 363 feet tall. Future astronauts will need that kind of lift, but once they're in space, they can use a much smaller engine, a nuclear engine, to go all the way to Mars and back, a fraction of the size. And that engine could last 20 years. This is a big place. It's happening now at the Marshall Test Flight Center in Huntsville. This is where they put components of nuclear thermal rockets, such as this fuel element here, and like the one that you're holding. These are the building blocks for America's future nuclear propulsion going to space. Yes. But America's best known astrophysicist, Neil deGrasse Tyson, wonders why we're going. So I'm all for people in space, but to accomplish scientific goals, the robot can live off of sunlight and you can't. The robot is not gonna cry because we ran out of money and we can't bring you back. Uh, well, Tom, you, you mentioned nuclear technology. Is this the first time NASA's ever officially used this kind? Actually, on a spacecraft, no. Voyager 2, remember that? 1977, going on to explore the solar system? It's still out there. It uses three nuclear batteries on board Voyager 2. But listen to this. The, the memory on board Voyager 2, which is still out there, three million times less than what's in your cell phone right now. If they can actually do, harness this technology, nuclear technology, they also want to have power stations on the moon and Mars to provide heat and electricity for future astronauts. Really cool. Mm. Really cool, Tom. And we should mention, of course, you can catch Meet the Press Report's Race to Mars. That's Tom's documentary on NBC News Now and on demand on Peacock and YouTube. Tom's never happier than when he's That's doing cool. say, Tom gets us excited about yeah. space. Can't wait for yeah. 2040. Let's yeah. go to Mars. <laughs> In the meantime, though, Dylan, we, on this planet, what do we got? I still think Tom needs to get on one of these ships. Yeah, 100%. Yes. No, I think he's, he's earned that spot. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.